Good day, YouTube. Back with another video here. And as you can see, we have three boxes in front of me here. And this is just a quick unboxing and review of the uh, new tools that I purchased to assist me with the uh, restoration of the 66 Impala here. Now, this is the Ingersoll RAN, which I just had my hands placed on. And then we're moving on to the uh, Steel Force. All of these are sanders for uh, bodywork uh, preparation. And as you can see, this sleek machine here, it's a little bit on the shorter side than the longer block sanders that I have. And, uh, but what I could say, it offers a much wider width, so it kind of covers more side by side. But I love the aerodynamics of it. I purchased it through Amazon. And... Uh, for the price and then for the amount of amperage and the performance that it offers it was just a great deal now these are just the brochures these machines did not really come with much because uh, you don't really need much just a couple of sandpaper uh, pads and then just your tool and then you're good to go now i'm unboxing a nether tool that i have here which is a rare commodity i would say because this was kind of hard for me to find and uh when it comes to long block sanders the majority of them come in the air tool option but i was able to find one that actually didn't and this is the flexi sander which i purchased from amazon i believe it's not made in america uh, because the come with options of a different source of power supply but I was able to find this in an American standard so I did not need an external transformer to convert any of the uh, power usage now just placing them side by side here you can see they have the uh, same length and also the same width uh, they kind of look similar to each other but they do have their differences uh, the knobs here as you can see the corded electrical flexi sander has a much bigger knob which offers a bit more comfortability for the uh, person with the larger hand now the steel force this is pretty much just a one-handed sander but it does have an anterior curvature where if I needed to use two hands to apply pressure towards a uh, board or something that I, I'm sanding it would come in handy now this has the uh, air uh, suction bottom for vacuuming that way we can uh, make a much cleaner surface area so that our dust is not flying all over the place now what I like about the Ingersoll RAN is that it has a soft bottom pad but at the same time, it does offer the option for clips if you needed to clip a sandpaper on for just uh, better adjustments than uh, to support the uh, holding of the sandpaper so that it doesn't move all over the place. Now I'm getting started here and as you can see, I'm working with the uh, Steel Force Sander first. And uh, we'll see how this meets uh, the duty at hand here. As you can see, this 66 Impala, most of the uh, body part panels are curved. And uh, the downside to this is that using this uh, steel force, the bottom surface is just a flat surface. So I kind of have to contour to meet the curvature of the automobile. Now, the benefit to using the uh, Steel Force Sander is that it is much shorter compared to the Ingersoll RAN and the Flexi Sander. So it gives me much more flexibility to kind of curve the tool to meet the curvature of the automobile. And uh, it does not have as much vibration. It, I'd say it's pretty smooth. It's doing most of the work for me. And I also like the fact that uh, I have a sense of having control of the machine. It's not pretty aggressive to where I'm kind of focusing on keeping it to the body part, but also actually trying to keep it stable so that it actually does its job to where it's not too aggressive and going a little deeper than I would like. 
now moving on to the uh, next one that i have here this is the flexi sander now the benefits to this sander what i could say is that it's a long block so it's going to cover more from left to right and uh it just feels good in my hand i feel that i have full control but at the same time the uh machine is not too aggressive to where i'm using more muscle strength to kind of keep it in control now it also uh does an orbital uh movement action here rather than moving uh back and forth it kind of moves almost in a circular motion so it's covering everything uh pretty well and i don't know if it's just the sandpaper but i did not get much build up also and as you can see here just with the movements it's doing a great job it's giving me a great control here i would say feels good to the touch and it's not a rough machine and it's also doing the job in addition to that the benefit of the uh, flexi sander it says it all in the name now that bottom pad that houses your uh, sandpaper it actually flexes so no matter how i hold it but it does also matter because uh due to the curvature of the car the middle portion of that flexi sander also retracts inward so that it meets the curvature so that's the benefit to having that compared to the ingersoll ran which i have here in hand now what i can say about the ingersoll ran is that it's a much more aggressive machine as you can see here that sandpaper the uh, distance of travel is much more greater to the eye as you can see but it's very aggressive i'm kind of using much more arm strength to keep it stable in place so that it does not i guess move in an in an aggressive fashion to where it's kind of overdoing the uh, sanding of the surface area now it does a great job and i would say when it comes to sanding uh, if you're looking to remove a surface that's pretty rough the uh, air tool is the way to go now back to the flexi sander what i also like about this like i mentioned before is that a uh, bottom pad when it comes to the curvatures of the uh, automobile here i find that both ends of the pad meets the uh, curvature of the vehicle without a problem now the steel force because it's a much shorter tool it gives me a much better motion movement to where i can kind of angle so that the sandpaper meets those curvatures and it's not an aggressive machine so it allows me to have control now moving on to the ingersoll ran what i could say about this uh tool here is that out of all of the three i find this one to be the one that vibrates the most and it's the one that's very aggressive and uh, it does a great job in getting the material out much quicker so if you're working on a large project to where you're trying to sand something down and you don't want to waste time this is the uh, way to go i compare it to my lawn tools uh just like my weed eater i have a powered uh weed eater that runs with a battery and i also have one that runs with gas and i have to say the one that runs with gas it's just much more aggressive it cuts and it it just whacks everything out of the way real quick now depending on your compressor i'm not sure will this exceed my needs as far as getting a full job done that's why there's the option for the corded also but uh yeah i find it to be a good uh tool as far as a sanding machine it has a soft pad in the bottom which allows you to uh have the uh, sticky backside sandpapers but if not the brackets towards the ends also hold these sandpapers very well to where they're not moving all over the place now the steel force uh, this is the much smaller one less vibration i find this one to be the most versatile easy to use and uh for the price you just can't beat that so for all three i would have to say they all play 
a good part. But if I was to have to choose one due to my work area and uh, not being sure if my compressor will hold up with the Ingersoll Rand, depending on how long I'm using it, uh, I would have to go with the Flexi Sander because it does all three uh, of which the three tools are doing here. But uh, the only downside is just the pricing. It's, it's way much more compared to what the others are. So this is my review, YouTube. Y'all have a nice day out there.